So now we're doing question 13b, which says determine the product matrix when the following pairs are multiplied together. So we're now going to go through that one. So all I've done is I have labeled one matrix A and the other one B like we did in part A. And we're going to first figure out whether this product matrix exists or not. To do that, we have to find the order of each matrix. So, order of matrix A is we have two rows and two columns. So, we have this one's two by two. And then, order of matrix B. has two rows and one column so for this matrix to exist it has to have the same number of rows so from sorry from um, matrix A it has to have the same number of columns in matrix A and the same number of rows in matrix B okay so the product matrix A B exists because the number of columns in A is the same as the number of rows in B. Okay, so the order of matrix A, B is then 2 by 1. So those are the first few steps to figure out what the order of this matrix A, B is. And then I can um, solve it. So I've got A, B is equal to, I know that it's going to have two rows and one column. So I'll have A, B, 1, 1, A, B, 2, 1. So row 2, column 1. Okay. Then I know that the I take A from row 1 and B 1 so that's 6 times 2 plus 5 times by 9 all right so product a B if I'm doing the first part here I've got to multiply that so I'm looking for that one I've got to use um, in matrix A the first row so that those values multiplied by those so I want to know 6 times 2 plus 5 times 9 and that will give me that top value so let's try and figure that out So I've got 6 times 2 plus 5 times 9. And that'll give me that AB11. For AB21, I have to then take the second one. So I'll take the second row from A. So it's A2 and obviously by the first column so I'll do 8 times 2 plus 3 times 9 so my answer for product matrix AB 
is 57 and 63 sorry 43 and that's how you do part B